Welcome to Squawk 7000's weekly roundup of aviation news from Ireland, brought to you in partnership with flyinginireland.com and pilot.ie for the week starting September 25th. Remember to subscribe and to keep us your top choice for Ireland's aviation news, delivering news to your device every Monday morning. And remember too, you can ask your smart speaker to play our latest episode at any time. I'm Michael Cummins. The headlines this week. The IBGA Conference 2023 at Adair Manor. Keynote by Irish Minister focusing on sustainability and air charter evaluation. ICBE Aviation Skillnet invites students to Future of Women in Aviation webinar on October 17th. The Air Corps celebrates 60 years of helicopters. There's an event at Shannon Airport Museum on October 14th. Shannon Airport extends Munster Rugby sponsorship until 2026. And the Airbus A321XLR conducts route proving tests in Dublin. Essential steps towards certification. The Irish Business and General Aviation Association, the IBGAA, will host its second annual conference on November 1st, 2023 at Adair Manor, Limerick, welcoming 140 industry delegates. The event will focus on executive aviation and luxury tourism with the topical agenda delivered by international and regional speakers. The keynote speaker is Ireland's Minister of State for Transport, Environment, Climate and Communications, Jack Chambers, followed by Declan Fitzpatrick, Chief Executive of the Irish Aviation Authority. Sustainability is a key theme, with Gulfstream Aircraft as the principal sponsor. The event will also evaluate air charter options and provide an industry update. The success of the 2022 IBGA event is evident from the repeat sponsorships secured. Josh Stewart, IBGA's chair, emphasised the value of networking and aligning business opportunities in the aviation and ultra-lux tourism sectors. The ICBE Aviation Skillnet, in partnership with the Shannon Airport Group, Shannon Aviation Museum and ADS Northern Ireland, invites transition year students to participate in their Future of Women in Aviation All-Ireland event. This free webinar will last two hours on October 17th at 10am. The main objective of this exclusive information session is to inspire, motivate and educate transition year students about the diverse and exciting career opportunities within the aviation industry in Ireland. They've lined up distinguished guest speakers including Laura Russell, First Officer at Aer Lingus and an aerobatic pilot who will share her experience in her current role shedding light on the challenges and opportunities in the aviation field. And she'll emphasise the vast array of career paths available in aviation today. Facilitating the event will be John Drysdale from the Shannon Airport Group. In November 2023, a significant milestone will be reached, 60 years since the Air Corps welcomed the state's inaugural helicopter, the Alouette III, into service in 1963. Initially intended for search and rescue missions, These helicopters showcase their versatility across various tasks. Over the ensuing six decades, the Air Corps' No. 3 Operations Wing has managed eight distinct helicopter types, comprising 28 aircraft. The unit's role has expanded dramatically since its beginning in search and rescue. Today, it encompasses operations like the Emergency Aeromedical Service, support for counter-terrorism and special forces with the Army Ranger Wing, Garda Air Support Unit Operations, Aerial firefighting in collaboration with local authorities and fire services, inter hospital air ambulance and organ retrieval, naval and army support, as well as contributions to flood and snow relief efforts, among many others. On Saturday, October 14th, from 1 o'clock, at the Shannon Aviation Museum, Lieutenant Colonel David Brown, the officer commanding No. 3 Operations Wing, will present a talk recounting the unit's 60 year journey. He'll share stories, experiences, and accounts of missions flown. Weather permitting, one of the modern-day Air Corps helicopters will be displayed at the museum, allowing visitors an up-close look. Your ticket grants admission to the museum as well, and they can be booked on the museum website. Staying in Shannon, Shannon Airport has announced the extension of its sponsorship for Munster Rugby, solidifying its position as the official airport partner until 2026. This enduring partnership between the airport and the cherished rugby brand based in Clare has been renewed for an additional three years lasting until June 2026. As part of the collaboration, Shannon Airport will continue to serve as Munster Rugby's official airport, facilitating travel to away games for the team and its dedicated supporters. The extension of this sponsorship aligns with the commencement of the 2023-24 season for Munster Rugby. Coincidentally, it also corresponds with the launch of Shannon Airport's new service to Paris Charles de Gaulle, in partnership with Aer Lingus later this week. 
This service offers an excellent gateway to the Rugby World Cup for numerous passionate rugby enthusiasts. Northern Sound Radio recently featured an interview with a local pilot, Jerry Lynch. As well as being a full-time pilot, Jerry farms alongside his wife, Jennifer, and their three children. When he's not rearing calves on his Cavan farm, you can find Jerry Lynch flying for Ryanair. Aside from his professional career as a pilot, Jerry, his wife and children rear over 30 dairy beef calves yearly on their Clonkeefe farm close to the Cavanmeath border. Having started his career in aviation as an apprentice mechanic, Jerry fulfilled his lifelong dream by joining Ryanair in 2005. While the Cavan pilot enjoys the farming lifestyle, he told Northern Sound Radio's Joe Finnegan show that he's aware of the concerns within the farming sector. He added that while he sees a future in the farming industry, farmers are making less money economically despite an increased workload. And we'll be back with more news after this short break. This is Squawk 7000 with your weekly update of aviation news. And Airbus has brought its latest aircraft, the Airbus A321 XLR, to Dublin for functional and reliability testing, also known as route proving. This testing is a crucial part of Airbus's certification efforts for EASA type certification, anticipated for this new variant in 2024. The primary aim of route proving is to showcase the maturity of the A321 XLR's systems well before its actual operational use. The objective is to achieve around 100 hours of flying time over 10 days with no systems power down. This testing involves specific flight segments, totaling approximately 15 flights designed to mirror the types of routes airlines might operate when the aircraft is in service. These segments encompass operator profiles, diverse climatic conditions, flight durations and airport turnaround times. For the first time since its maiden flight in June 2022, the A321 XLR will have actual airline cabin and flight crew participating in the testing alongside Airbus test pilots, flight engineers and approximately 30 passengers who are volunteer Airbus and airline employees. All individuals on board, including support teams in Toulouse and at the destination airports, will collaborate towards a common goal to provide valuable feedback as the A321 XLR embarks on its inaugural flights. The aircraft conducting these missions is identified as MSN 11080, one of the three dedicated flight test prototypes and the sole one fully equipped with the cabin interior. At the launch of the Northern Winter 2023-24 season, Ethiopian Airlines is adjusting technical stops on its westbound North American service. From October 29th, the following routes will be routed via Rome Fumicino instead of Dublin. Their flights from Addis Ababa to Atlanta from Addis Ababa to Chicago O'Hare, six times weekly, and the flights to Toronto and Washington. Ryanair has announced the addition of 7,000 extra seats for rugby fans gearing up for the highly anticipated Six Nations Championships next year. The tournament kicks off on Friday, February 2nd, with France hosting Ireland. They've added extra seats to and from key destinations like Cardiff, Dublin, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Marseille, Paris and Rome, covering all the major matches. And this is good news too for those who may not be able to attend the ongoing Rugby World Cup in France, but who don't want to miss the upcoming action at the Six Nations Championships next spring. In a promising development for transatlantic travel, the Shannon Airport Group expressed its delight at Delta Airlines' recent announcement to resume their non-stop daily seasonal service between Shannon Airport and New York's JFK International Airport in 2024. The renewed service is set to commence on Saturday, May 25th next year adding 2,700 weekly seats on the route. The Delta Airlines temporarily halted their Shannon to JFK service in 2019, making its return a much-needed boost for the regional economy, especially after the challenges posed by the pandemic. The airline plans to operate this service with the Boeing 757-200 aircraft, operating 193 seats, and offering their first-class Delta Comfort Plus and main cabin services. Travellers can expect the service to take off from New York JFK at 22.55, landing in Shannon the next day at 10.10, and the return flight is scheduled to depart from Shannon at 11.55, reaching JFK at 14.25. Emerald Airlines, the primary airline servicing Belfast City and the exclusive operator of Aer Lingus Regional Services, has unveiled its winter 2023 schedule. This schedule will be effective from the end of October 23 to the end of March 24. During this winter, a substantial offering of over 1.1 million seats will be available for sale, covering 28 routes. The airline is ramping up its flight frequency and services across the Aer Lingus regional route network, prioritising increased travel options and convenience. 
To provide an enhanced experience for the public, Emerald Airlines is augmenting its winter schedule from Belfast City Airport. Specifically, this includes a notable increase in the frequency of flights between Belfast and Birmingham, with the provision of up to five daily services. In the latest financial report, Dublin-based airline group ASL Aviation revealed a nearly three-fold profit increase, reaching €121 million last year. This substantial rise coincides with a 43% surge in revenue to €1.62 billion for 22, despite economic uncertainties and the geopolitical events like Russia's invasion of Ukraine. ASL Aviation, which manages a fleet of approximately 160 aircraft, underwent acquisition by European fund manager Star Capital in 2019. The company owns roughly 57 aircraft, with Dave Andrew as the CEO. Dublin Aerospace, a provider of aircraft maintenance, repair and overhaul, MRO services, has announced the appointment of Dominic Ryan as a general manager, base maintenance and APU. Dominic assumed his new role earlier this month and brings a wealth of experience and expertise to the aviation industry. Last week, members of the European Parliament MEPs gave the green light to a new law to boost the adoption of sustainable fuels like advanced biofuels and hydrogen in the aviation sector. These regulations, known as Refuel EU Aviation Rules, are part of the broader Fit for 55 package, which outlines the EU's strategy to slash greenhouse gas emissions by 55% by 2030 compared to 1990 levels and to achieve climate neutrality by 2050. The objective is to prompt the aviation sector to transition to sustainable fuels and reduce emissions. As defined by the new rules, the term sustainable aviation fuels encompasses synthetic fuels, specific biofuels produced from agricultural or forestry residues, algae, bio-waste, used cooking oil or certain animal fats. Additionally, recycled jet fuels created from waste gases and plastic are also classified as green. And while it's been nearly impossible to keep up with cancelled aviation events as rain seems to wait till the weekend to appear, we'll do our best to keep you informed. Do let us know if you're an aviation event organiser and have new dates for cancelled events. Remember, if you have any aviation news that you'd like to share, include us in your news emails and send your stories to news at squawk7000.ie. Remember too, we have over 136 episodes of the Squawk 7000 series in our library, including our summer series of extended interviews with people from the world of aviation. That's your bulletin for this week. Thanks for listening. Join us next week too. 